Welcome back to Just Campers and welcome back to our Crafter project. Uh, you have to bear with me today because I'm a bit sniffly, got a bit of a cold, and I also forgot the wide angle, so it's a different lens today. But Mark, what is on the agenda today? Well, what are we first doing? First thing, I'm keeping my distance from you, Nick, because I don't want that sniffly what, cold. Why is that? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, I've just finished my tea. Today, we are fitting this underslung water tank. Ah. So we've got 90 litres here. 90 litres? Yeah, it's going to provide <laughs> 90 litres of fresh, fresh water. Um, brackets, fittings, it's just a case of popping it underneath, I think. It is a big, big old tank, it? Isn't looks it? big, it looks big, but 90 litres isn't actually that much. In the world of sort of camping and being wild camping, you can buy like double this, 180 litres. Well, I guess the reason why we need 90 litres really is because of the shower, isn't it? It's yeah, yeah, so if you just had a hob and a sink, you'd probably just be washing up and using little bits for make a cup of tea, that sort of thing. I was going to say, because the hob doesn't need uh, water, does it? <laughs> No, but you put stuff on the hob and then you wash up. I know you mean, boil, anyway. Boiling water. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boiling water, all that sort of jazz. But this is going to run a shower as well. So a shower, I mean, you could get through six litres a minute. Six, wow. That's so you could do, lot. yeah, yeah. Depending on, so the pump that we're going to use for this is capable of delivering like 10 litres of water per minute. Jeez. So the control would be at the shower end. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so obviously that, if you put that into perspective, that's not a very long shower until you've gone through, well, 10 minutes, you've done 60 litres of water. Yeah, so that's a lot of water, hence, isn't it? Hence the 90 litres, which is probably not big enough. I think no matter what size tank you have. Need more water. Yeah, always, yeah. always. But this will do, I think, perfect for what we want. Cool, and so, as you said, you've got some fixings for it as well to have put it straight on. Yeah, these are the brackets that come with it. Perfect for this vehicle, apparently. They look quite good, actually. Nice stainless steel, pre-drilled. Looks quite good. Although we have got, looks like we've got, oh no, we've got three fitting holes, look. That's good. For a minute, I thought we had four fitting holes. Oh yeah, that's on the other side. Oh yeah, so we've got an extra <laughs> fit in this side for some reason, but there we go. But that's, so, that's where they go. Yeah, the so three. that's our three fittings there. Nice and easy. Now I think we just need to drill up into the chassis and hold the thing up. Cool. Well, I guess the first thing to do is just get a dry fit, isn't it? To see how it goes. I just want to pop it under the van, just make sure it slots and see which position it slots into. Uh, and then work out, yeah, where we're going to drill and put our brackets, really. And but I guess we, we did try to see if we could get it underneath without jacking it up. But yeah, you're it didn't have to quite work, it did it? No, nah, my head was too big, yeah. so that's definitely going to be too big. So we had to jack so it up. So we've jacked it, the van up. We're ready. We've got our lying down mats down there, look. Quite handy. So I guess if you're doing it at home, yep. you should you would be able to still if you've got jack and stuff, you can just jack yeah, it. Yeah, if you've got a jack, obviously just get it jacked up and make sure your axle stands are nice and safe on flat ground if possible. You know, if you can get under a pit even easier. Flat and hard ground. Is, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, no, that's absolutely fine. I think we're we're good and ready to go. Let's chuck the tank under. Yep, yeah, just give it a go, dry fit. And just have a look and see where we fit it. And then uh, nice. work out well, the rest from there. Let's get underneath. Let's do it. <laughs> I think literally where your head is is where it starts. Okay. Ooh. And then I think this big section here. So, guys, I've left the camera to record, so hopefully it's all right and you hopefully can hear us and you can see us. You I'm can see everything of, going on. I've sort of it a little bit. Ooh. Okay, now push it up. Right, look at that. It fits great. Did you say you're going to put an outlet on this side? No, this side, I think. Okay. Because. Uh, As I say, you can't get to it. No, so that one's blocked off, is it? Yeah. This one's open both the outlet and the inlet, so that's cool. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do it on this All right, side. if I hold that there, could you grab just one of those brackets for me, Nick, please? Yeah. Will it pop up under that? That's it, look at that. And then we can drill our brackets and get it mounted. So basically the fit, we just drill into the bodywork through here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, was, that was pretty cool. You ready? Well, as you can see. <laughs> 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 uh, you're not allowed to swear, Nick, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but as you can see, guys, it's definitely a two person job. <laughs> Jesus That's Christ. That's fine, it's fine. It's pretty heavy duty. Right, let's do it. Right, so now we've dry fitted it. We just have to fit the uh, inlet and outlet. Yeah. So, which end are we putting on this end, aren't we, down there? Hit so, end. yeah, there is a choice, but we're going to use this end. This is our inlet, the big one, obviously, up the top, and then our outlet there. The, there is another outlet the other side, if it was easier, depending on where you were putting your plumbing in the van, it was, really. It was blocked. From where I could see, you just couldn't get to it. Yeah, so. you'd probably have to drill through part of the... Um, the body. Yeah. yeah. So it's easy to use this side. This, these, <laughs> random. these are both exposed, so it's a lot easier. 
So we've got our large, this is like an inch fitting. It's pretty large. And then three quarters of an inch on the bottom for the outlet. So that would be something like that. And we'd work out where the pipe would come through. And then you either get either a straight fit in or a 90 degrees. So again, depends. You know, we don't want it sticking down because that would be no good. We could use probably the straight fitting on there, I would think. But before we do any of that, we do need to drill the tank because the threads are fitted, but there's no actual holes in the tank yet. Oh, it's a solid. Yeah. So then you can pick which ones you drill, you see, rather than having to bung the holes up. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes total sense. So let's drill it. So starting off with my cone cutter. Then another good reason why it's got a big empty on the bottom, we can get all the bits out from the plastic that get stuck in the tank. Ah, uh, yeah, you want to wash, wash, wash through that way. Yeah, you? otherwise yeah. it'll bung, or bung your filter up. Yep. Look at that lot. Okay, it's a good start. Cool. Uh, that was nice and easy. Well, we need to open them up a little bit bigger oh. than that. That's a start. <laughs> And then we may need to drill around and file it out, but yeah, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. <laughs> Bit noisy. <laughs> Give the noise down, we've got work going on. So you're saying that plastic's thicker than you thought it'd be? It's pretty it? thick, yeah. So I've, I've drilled it out. There's one last little bit I need to get out. And then we're good to go. Is so uh, what have we discovered, Mark, when you're drilling it? Well, obviously you leave a little bit inside that you need to get out because that would block. So basically the little bits of plastic have gone inside the tub. Was it only little bits? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, so we need to get that out. Yeah, um, you, you, basically if that, if that happens, you won't want to get it out because obviously that will go through the filter system and all sorts of yeah, pumps. Yeah, it block the filter up pretty yeah. quickly. <laughs> I'm going to go get the um, Charles. Charles can give us a hand. Oh yeah, Charles. And see if he can suck that out, that'd be cool. But uh, yeah, good so far. Yeah, well, holes are drilled. Yeah. Ooh, I can actually feel it going up the tube then. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> right, so the next thing before we put it underneath is we're just fitting the... Um, brackets? Brackets, that's the word I was looking for. Snack it brackets. So we're gonna pop these on loosely for now so we can move them about. I don't think we need much adjustment to be fair. And then once it's in place, I'm going to hold it up with a trolley jack and a bit of cardboard underneath the tank so we don't it just, damage it. It just makes it easier, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. and then you've got a free hand to drill then. Exactly. You? He says, trying to get this one in. Here we go. And basically what you need to do is just fill, you basically just screw these into the already assigned holes. Yeah. And you know exactly where they're going. Right, so we're back under the van and top tip, use the jack if you've got one to push up the water tank because it's a lot easier because you need to have to hold it and do all the bits at the same time yeah so we're there that's good uh it's just a case of drilling some holes now nick yep and then putting in our screws yeah into these little these brackets yep i will get some glasses though yeah there's a lot of dust and stuff under here so and we're drilling above you it'll all fall in your <laughs> eye that's yep. not good so i'll grab the glasses and then we can drill those holes i do need to measure up the size of the screws they're like tech screws okay so they've got a cutting thread on them. So you drill with a specific size and you wind them in like a self-tapper in effect, really. So that's cool. And that'll hold them in place. And they've got like a little um, plastic washer on them as well to seal them up. So good stuff. And then we can put the fittings in the end, I think. Sounds good to me. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to check and make sure that I've got enough room to be able to put that right angled fitting in that it's going to go round and round. Okay. Otherwise, you know. Might run out of room, might have to let the jack back down. <laughs> let me just check that. All right, no worries. Yeah, so I've got a four mil drill bit. The reason I've got a four mil drill bit is that the shank part of this is four mil. And then we're going to wind them in with a magic tool. So let's drill the holes. So four mil drill bit. Should be a pretty sharp one, should go through. Yeah, nice and sharp. They go through the chassis well. So they've got like a self-drill on them. A okay, screw. so that it just goes straight in? Then. Yeah, well, as I say, I put a, a four mil pilot hole and then you just keep going and it sort of drills itself in. And it becomes a proper self-tapper, so we get a really good, nice, tight fit. That was even easier, that, that one. Beautiful. Well, that's the first one done. Yeah. 
Cool. And and just on. need to do the other side of it and oh, yeah, of course. a few there and we're good to go. Crack on. Right, so it's in, held in place with the brackets. No, I'm holding it in place. Oh, oh, yeah. Not really, I've done it. I've done it. <laughs> Look at that. Um, I mean, it looks pretty good to me. It's really I think solid. it's um, really, really neat, actually. Uh, it's actually really easy to fit. It's yeah. Just slit, it's just slotted in, went straight in. An amazing amount of water in that small space. Yeah, 90 but, litres, you said. Yeah, and it's not lower than the van. Well, I think it's really good. Really cool, really pleased with that. So, on with uh, putting some pipes through, I suppose. Yeah. Right, so the next thing I think is we're going to do in the inlet. Yes, we need to be able to put water in the tank, Nick, don't we? Yes, and then we can make sure it's all flushed through yeah, and we can wash it out a bit. Okay. So. And there is only one area where we can fit our pipes through, which is this end, because we've decided to use this end, which is, I think, the correct one, rather than it be a bit tight up that end. Yeah, well, you had to drill through here The body anyway, to do it, yeah. So that'll be an extra drilling. And I don't, to be honest, I don't think you'd be able to get to drill through here. Because no, it's pretty tight. tight. So I think that's the only way we could have gone. Okay, brilliant. So the water tank's in, and I've actually got the fittings on and in the correct orientation. Now, we're waiting for a few parts to turn up. So while we're waiting for bits to turn up, we're going to take the opportunity to get some sound deadening in the van, because that is a must. Right, let's see how the sound deadening's getting on. How's it getting on? It's getting on quite well, actually, Nick. Um, yeah, I've done most of it. I think all I've got left to do, I've left a little patch here. Uh, reason, there's a reason for that, which we'll go into later. And I've just got one side of the door to do. So I was just going to show you the difference. Nice. Actually. Well, you've basically done, well, you've yeah. done all of it, haven't you? Yeah, really? which makes a massive difference. I'll show you. So as you can see, this door isn't done. This door is done. So with them shut, we do the test. Uh, yeah. Wow, massive a difference. A lot more tinny on this side. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, oh, that's a big difference. Yeah, so the sound deadening does make a massive difference. What also makes a massive difference, Nick, is having the correct insurance for your vehicle. Oh yes, of course. So whether you have a panel van, a van that you've converted yourself, or a fully converted van from a factory, just Campers Insurance can find the correct policy for your needs. Right, so now the tank's in, we've got to make sure we can get the actual water into the tank. So how are we going to be doing that? Ah, we're going to do that with this little lovely thing here. Yep. This is our water inlet, Nick. That's going to go on the side of the van, and you see this massive pipe here, that's going to take our feed down to our tank underneath. Ah, uh, okay. And then we can pop our hose, whatever it is we're filling that tank up with, straight in there, with a lockable key. Nice safety. Yeah, safety, <laughs> so nobody steals your water. Yeah. yeah, so that does mean we need to cut a hole in the side of the van. Okay. So which, you've, which why, like, why have you chosen this area, I guess? I've chosen this area because it's fairly direct above where the back of the tank is and where the inlet for the tank is. So I want to try and keep the pipe work fairly straight and down to the tank rather than deviating too far left or right. Yeah, fair enough. Keep it simple, really. So that's why I chose here, this side. So to cut out this sort of hole, is it yep. just a jigsaw job? Or? Yeah, we'll drill a hole and pop the jigsaw in it and hopefully I'll be able to get around with the jigsaw quite easily because it's quite large. I haven't quite got a hole saw that big. It's about 80, oh, just measure it actually, 80 odd mil. Okay, so yeah, no, it should be quite easy then. Yeah, pop it around, it's only one skin, pop it through. And again, a bit of paint around the edge. And then when we put this on, we'll actually seal this on so it's waterproof. So then, do you, do you want to show you on the inside where you think the pipe's going to be going, or? We can have a look. <laughs> let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, you want to see? Oh, it'll be interesting to know where the pipe's no, going. No, let's have a look then, let's have a look. <laughs> Right, so we've got the light in here, so it's quite dark in here, isn't it, at the moment? It, it is, yeah, but that's fantastic light, actually. It works really well. Right, so yeah, show us where the water's coming in and stuff, so. This little bit of magic tape on the inside, yep. on the window, I can see it from the outside, so I know roughly where I am. But in line here, so we're going to come through the panel sort of here. Okay. Somewhere around there. And then we'll be able to take our feed pipe down through the floor and then direct to the tank underneath. And then hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, either our furniture is long enough so it covers it, or I'll have to think of a plan B. A little botch job. Not a botch job. <laughs> no, no. A, a way to cover it, yeah. Yeah, we'll sort it out. But unfortunately, that the water's got to come in at this place and down straight through to the tank. Even if I fitted this here, I've still got to bring the pipe along here to go down through to the tank. Oh, I see. So it literally has to go in that spot. Yeah, it just makes life easier. Um, I'm sure we'll be okay, though. I'm yeah. sure we'll be okay. Yeah, of course we will. We'll work <laughs> it out. We always do. Nice. Well, I guess we'll get cutting. Do you first? Well, I don't want a bit of shrapnel on my eye. No. <laughs> and, uh, I guess just like the windows, you can do like a pilot hole. Yeah, so a little pilot hole first. It's a three and a half mil drill bit. So that should fire through quite easy. And then we're open up to probably eight, ten mil to be able to get the jigsaw blade in there. 
So somewhere like that, I think. There we go. In the pilot. Look at that. We don't want to push, push too hard because I don't want to distort the panel, you see. So a nice sharp drill bit. Perfect. Going with a bit of gloving as well. Extra safety. Yeah, it just takes a bit of the vibration off your hands with the old jigsaw, you see. Bit of that. Well, the steam now. <laughs> Must be have a hot head. <clears throat> so I'm thinking full throttle. Yeah, full throttle, <laughs> right. <laughs> steady, steady as it goes. Steady as it goes, flat out. You ready? Yep. Precision is the key. Uh, I don't really want to be filing it too big if it doesn't fit. <laughs> Got a hole. Perfect. Do you want to test it, see if it fits? Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a test. <laughs> like the way you come rushing over with it, Nick. <laughs> yes, yeah, fine. Fits really well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it is a touch tight. <laughs> this is a bit of filing, I Which guess. Which is better than a touch loose. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a file up. Actually, it's only sort of to clean up the edges, I think, and that'll fit nice and snug in there. Perfect. Cool. Right, I better get my file then, I? <laughs> Damn it. How's it going? It's going well. It, it, even for a, like, the old Fisher Price. Fisher Price. <laughs> Fisher Price um, jigsaw. No, it's all good. It's all good. Just taking my time. I'm trying to stick to that line. So I don't really want to be filing it. Yeah, too much. Yeah. No, yeah. and I don't really want to be too small. So. No. As I say, a bit of precision work. Nice and slow. Alas, the rain has stopped. The sun is out, and the hole is done. Ta da! Check it out. So I filed him round. It fits lovely, and I've also marked out our holes on masking tape, as you can see. So I can pop a drill through that and actually screw it on. Nice and easy? Yeah, nice and easy, exactly. Nice and, <laughs> and I'm gonna pop a little bit of paint around that bare edge as well, Nick. Oh yeah, like the rust stuff. Just to stop it rusty. Yeah. And then we will we'll pop a little bit of extra sealer on. I was gonna say, it's when you're fitting it, it's essentially just slotting in, isn't it? So you just wanna- Yeah, but it has got, it has got a rubber gasket. Yeah, but um, you, you do want to seal around here, oh, don't yeah, you? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I just like to have that little extra insurance, make sure it's going to be absolutely watertight. One. Two. Three. If I remember correctly, this comes with fixings already, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So there's got... fixings in the bag and the locker as well. So the, we've got the keys to lock the cap. Nice. So nobody can steal your water at night. That would be, yes. <laughs> well, you know. When it comes as well, valuable. it's more of a safety feature to stop people putting stuff in your water, That's isn't it? true. I yeah. was just thinking that when water becomes more valuable than fuel. Right, yes. Like, like the Mad the Max year, thing. Year, yeah, year two, 22,000. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to try this through the hole. Make sure I've drilled the holes big enough. Have I? Yeah, so just work, oh, it, back, work just. it backwards and forwards just a touch, look, so then it, the self-tapper does its job too. Just nice. Do one in every hole. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you didn't put paint on it and you did get water in there, you'd just have these horrible brown stains down there, wouldn't you? Yeah, rusty stains. Yeah, we don't want that, so. So this actually comes with a rubber seal in the pack when you buy it, uh, but you said you're also going to do some sealant around the edge as well. Just a little bit, just a little bit, Nick, just to make sure. So if this seal shrinks over time, I'm talking years, like however many years, uh, if we've got a bit of sealer on there, it will stop it leaking. Nice. Yeah. Just, you can get a sealant from us as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is actually really good stuff. Um, it's made by these guys, JB World. They do really good quality stuff. And this is an all-purpose room temperature vulcanizing silicon, silicon, sealer, <laughs> adhesive gel. And it's clear as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good so thing. So you won't be able to see it on no. the van. And we're only going to pop a little bit on and then just run a bit round the inside of the gasket. So what you didn't see is Mark just put it straight in before I could film, so... Nick wanted to film it going in, so let's, let's rerun it, yeah? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Right. Sealer's ready. It's all lined up. Nice. Pop it in, look at Perfect that. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. And now all I need to do is line my screw holes up. Well, they're already lined up, Nick. It's amazing. As if you're a, you've done this before. Yeah. So I know what I'm doing. <laughs> to be fair, actually, this is probably the first time you put a thing on the side like this, isn't it? It is. <laughs> 
It is. Yeah. There's a lot of this van that actually compared to Ben and Anna's van and Project 22 is going to be a lot of firsts. A lot of new stuff, yeah. Yeah, a lot which of new is, stuff. Which is what I like. Yeah. It's good for me. Changes it up a bit. Yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely, this is by far the biggest thing we've done. So, yeah. in terms of vehicle size. It's a whopper, isn't it? Perfect. And it even lines up properly as well. Yeah. Truth, does the lock work? Well, I, I think I might have just locked it. <laughs> Let's unlock it. Oh, we did just lock it. Hey, there you go. There we go. So you can put your really expensive water Into in there. The and then you can lock it and stop people stealing it. The expensive water. <laughs> yes, expensive water. There we go. Da -da. And I, I line that up so it's, you know. I mean, personally, I'd fill that with juice or something. Could do. Could yeah. do. It'd be a lot of juice, wouldn't it? Bit of Ribena. 90 litres of Ribena. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think you could have a... Bit of a sticky shower. A malt shower, yeah, malt <laughs> rye <bean> a shower. <laughs> right, so we're back in the van and you've got the pipe to put on. Yeah, so this is our pipe. This is obviously the pipe that fits our Fiamma inlet. It's a 40, it was 40 mil, wasn't it's it? massive, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it is huge. This just slides over the top and then we'd put a clamp on it. So just for... And then at some point it's going to come through and go down through the floor. But before I do that, I have got a reducer on order to reduce this size to the same size as the tank. Now, quite often, or not, you will find that different companies make different standard sizes. Our underslung tank came with its fittings, and they are a different size. Yeah, so the, the underslung tank basically has smaller pipe. Yeah. So we're going to have to try and fit that onto the small pipe. Yeah, but, but that's easily done, actually. Yeah, and we're, we're, going to do, we're basically going to do this as a separate video because... We felt like a lot of people have this issue. Same issue. So many different companies have different pipe sizes and all sorts. Yeah. So, it's yeah. About, and it's about yeah matching the two together. Yeah. So if, when that but, arrives, we'll do a video on how yeah. we're going to fit that to the, to the tank. But having said that, I really like this inlet. I think it's, oh, really, yeah, it's yeah. really nice and neat. And if you were if you were hooking up to a Fiamma tank, something like the small, slightly yes, smaller, the yeah. seventy litre one. Wait, yeah. That's got the same size neck. Well, you can see it if you go back and look at our Ben and Anna video. Yes, you'll be right. able to see in the that it just goes straight to that tank. So basically, Fiamma designed that for their tanks, which yeah. is fair enough. Yeah, it's fair enough. But we're going to use it for our <laughs> underslung tank. Yes. Um, so just a reducer to go in line, really. That's it. It will slow the flow of water down a touch, but yeah. not enough to make it a problem. Before we wrap up, we actually do have one last thing to show you guys. Uh, it's one of the other bits that we'd be putting on the outside of the van. Well, basically into it. We'll be drilling it, aren't we? we can yeah, it make some more more holes, Nick. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll, just, we'll get that and show you what we're thinking of putting on the side. Right, so what have we got here, Mark? This is a Bullfinch external shower point. Now, the yes. idea of this <laughs> is to hose your dog down, hose your sand, uh, the ha sand off your feet or your surfboard down before you get into your van. That's the, the idea. And he did say that he would like a like an extended tap. Do you remember the one we did in Ben and Anna's? That yeah, actually, so they could get out through the window and yeah. rinse their feet off after they'd been doing surfing and walked up the beach. And he wanted the same sort of thing. I think we're putting a slightly different hob and sink in to what we put into Ben and Anna's. So this would be the answer for that. And this has hot water as well, I think? Yeah, it does. Warm, so it has water. hot and cold water feed to it. So yep. it's a mix of tap. So you can have a warm shower outside or, look, you know, rinse your feet off. It's Basically, warm water. it's perfect for if you're going to the beach and yep. you just want to have just a rinse off, as you said, yeah. dogs. Sand, basically. Sand is what you want to get Sand off. is the one before you walk it into your yep. beautiful van. Yeah. That's basically the dilemma we've got. So. Yeah. Which side? Yeah. So, I mean, at my head, you'd want to have, have it on the side that you're about to go into because yeah. you're already, you've already washed off your feet, basically. But you then, don't want to walk all the way around and get your feet dirty again, do you? But then no. the problem you have is... If you said, as you said, we've got awning there, but I guess the awning won't always be out, will no, it? No, so. but I'm, I'm more, the bit that we're covering up is with the sliding door, isn't it? So yeah. as soon as the sliding door is back, we're limited to where this can, can That's go. That's true. So we need to have a look. Yes. Any ideas, pop them in the comments yeah, below. Yeah, let us know in the comments below where <laughs> you think we should put the shower, because that is the dilemma we have. Yeah. I, I, um, I mean, we'll work well, it out, but... But basically on this side, we'd probably just pop it near... Well, roughly in a section. You have to for the tubing, don't you, really? Yeah. It has to be similar size uh, place. Oh, he was laying home for his tea. He was, was legging it. <laughs> that's a hair that just went past. There's a baby hair. <laughs> baby hair. Uh, well, if we <coughs> go to the other side and we'll have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see what we reckon. So my thought was, coming back to the van, after surfboard under my arm, coming back, all oh, the dog on the lead, yep. whichever, covered in sand. I get to this point, I want to step in my van, but before I do that, I want to just want to rinse my feet off, yep. rinse my board off, 
rinse the dog off. It's got to be this size, isn't it, Nick, I think? Yeah, but I guess, do you put it in the back? Because as well, you said, the sliding door... Awning's out, the sliding door's already open. You've got your... I don't know whether you'd have a mat here with your barbecue. So would it have to go somewhere here? Yeah, down this end, I think. So I think we're looking in this panel somewhere. Yeah. I think that's where we're going to go. Maybe. Yeah, maybe well, down Actually, that makes sense, because if you have it here, you can get in that side, or you can pop in the back, because effectively... Mm, of course, the back's going to be because, open, because that's yeah. their living space as well, mm -hmm. isn't it? No, that makes more sense. And also, so, I guess for them, you can wash the dogs off yeah. and get them straight in through the back. Yeah. That may be it. That may be the spot. That may but be the spot. I think you yeah. could be right there, Nick. What would be really cool if it was in the sliding door, but I don't think that's possible yet. No, I think also <laughs> the, the stress of getting the pipes back and forth would be... Uh, oh, trying to make it easier, not more complicated, yeah, exactly. Mark. <laughs> right, that is the end of this episode. We've got the water tank in and we've got the hole in. And sound deaden. Can't forget the sound deadening. Oh, sound deadening. Oh, did you yeah. see the ceiling? Yeah. Oh, no, we need... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to do the ceiling because Mark did this after I filmed. So look, all the ceiling's done. Yeah. And you're going to say, why have you put so much on? Well, the reason I put so much on is, imagine being parked up somewhere, you're just getting off to sleep and then it pours down with rain. <laughs> it didn't have any sound deadening on it. I reckon it would be really noisy. Well, it would just be constant, like... Yeah, it would be really, like really that, bad. It, so, so I thought as much as possible on there, just to try and deaden that sound, really. Yeah, Perfect. That was that. Right, well... <laughs> Where was I? So, next episode. Oh, wow, that is bright. <laughs> You've gone white. Hello. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right, so next episode. Is. Is, yes. Yeah, so, interesting one. There's two topics. We're going to be fitting the wrong awning to this fan. <laughs> that's going to be fun. Yeah, so that's going to be interesting. Yeah, have a look at that. Um, and then we're going to start doing the electrics. So, that'll be the sergeant unit, solar. So they're getting bits and bobs done. Yeah, uh, my sort of favourite bits of it, really, Nick, yes. I think. I quite like the wires, don't I? Yes, there'll be a lot of questions, I imagine, from my end of what is yeah. this, why is this yeah, wiring? Yeah, yeah, that's good. But I, I answer the question, ask the question for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> because there's a lot of questions that I think of that you wouldn't think of, so you're just getting on with it and doing it. So. This is true, this is yeah. true. I, I do forget about all that. Well, give us a thumbs up, guys, and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment as well. Be, yes. <laughs> Make sure you leave a comment. <laughs> the issue, usual, usual YouTube jargon. Um, yeah. Thanks Thank for you watching. guys for watching and we'll see you see next you guys time. Well, well, next time. There you go. God. I'll get better outros by the end of it.